Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This time I'm back with a sample video. I got a sample of Lolita Lampica, Lampica Om. So this one, I'm gonna spray it on skin. Um, I was interested in the Lolita Lampica masculine line because um, I don't know this brand, Lolita Lampica, it always seems so um, a little bit kitschy, a little bit like a fairy tale vibe, and I was curious how those um, motifs um, transfer into masculine fragrances. I never tried anything from them, and this time I ordered three samples. I'm gonna talk about each one of them. First of all, this is Lampica Om. So the notes in this fragrance are licorice, anise, uh, wormwood, ivy, rum, uh, almond, sugar, violet, woody notes, rose, rose water, orange blossom, uh, vanilla, musk, cedar, and labdanum. So those are a lot of notes. This one is quite interesting. It's very unique. I have to say that. Um, basically from the beginning, what I get is a powdery, um, this licorice sugar, you know? that black sugar, that's kind of what you get. It's probably that anise, 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 I'm not sure how to say it, that spice that I think they use it to kind of um, flavor that black candy, that's kind of that licorice, licorice candy. Um, that is very strong in this one. It particularly, it reminds me of like um, a type of candy that you can buy in uh, it used to be like very popular in my parents' generation. It's a, um, it's a black, uh, licorice, anisey, anisey um, candy. It's like a, um, um, consistency of like a gummy bear, but it's like a very long, shiny black thing. It's very chewy. I only tried once. I did not really like it. Um, kind of reminds me of that. It has a slight powdery sweetness almost like if you take this candy and you just kind of put it in powdered sugar that's kind of what I get uh, it has some aromatic like green facets to it probably from those notes um, in the opening like there is some kind of greenness to it but it's almost like a minty greenery like almost like you have a bowl of candy Half of the candy is this black black candy, and the other one is like a minty type of candy. And it's all uh, covered in powder sugar, and that kind of smell is what you get. It's very interesting. It's not really for me. It reminds me kind of like a uh, um, medicine store also, <laughs> but like a natural medicine kind of store, like a pharmacy, but um, just with a lot of herbs and just green like herbs and you know dried flowers like the powdery a little bit stale kind of scent is what i get it's not gonna be one of my favorites but i have to say it's quite pleasant um if you are into those licorice licorice i'm not sure how to say that uh scents i know that some people absolutely love them i think this is a great um, offering for that. I would say it's quite unisex. It doesn't really register as like classically masculine for me, but also it does not lean feminine either. It's somewhere in the middle, not really... Um, it's quite hard to categorize based on that. It just smells like... like a herbal candy or something, like a herbal um, candy that's kind of you would use to um, for your throat. In Hungary we have this uh, black candy that's uh, used for that purpose. It's like hard candy and if you are, you know, uh, put it in your mouth and you are like, you know, it's melting and it's supposed to be good for your uh, throat. Um, this kind of reminds me of that. I'm not a huge fan. Uh, I appreciate it for what it is. It's not really my type of scent, but um, it's also not unpleasant, so I don't hate it. I will definitely use this up. This is two MLs, but um, it's just not kind of 
it's not really my type of scent, but I like it. I have to say, um, I ordered five, two mls of this one. This was like a person selling these, and five mls from Dickens from uh, Green Lover. And I would actually prefer this one to be the five ml and Green Lover to be smaller because Green Lover I like less. I'm gonna talk about it in a separate video. So for my licorice lovers, if you like licorice, that candy, definitely try this one. It can be found quite affordable. I saw even testers selling. So uh, yes, that was it. Let me know if you tried any uh, Lolita and Pika fragrances. They have, I believe, maybe four scents for men available right now. Um, and um, they are definitely interesting. I have to say they are quite similar. So all, I, brought, I bought three Dickens of Lolita Lampica and they have similar qualities. So I don't think you need more than one, but I'm gonna talk about all of these in separate videos. So that was it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please let me know if you uh, have any questions about this scent or anything and uh, I'm gonna see you next time. Bye!